Oh, hello, beautiful people. I hope I find you well wherever you are right now. And today I am planning on installing the Cosmic Desktop on OpenSUSE. So I hope this will be really quick and easy install. But hey, who knows? <laughs> I have never done that on OpenSUSE. This will be my first time. So let's get to the video. Okay, as you may have heard already, the Cosmic Desktop, the newly and most anticipated desktop environment for the year, I guess, <laughs> it's already out for the Alpha 2 now. And if you don't know what Cosmic is, Cosmic is, uh, well, basically it is developed by System76, the company that brought you the Pop OS, which is a pretty good distribution and they have done a lot of good things for Cosmic and I guess a lot of us Linux users and Linux fans are so excited about this desktop so today I will try to install it on OpenSUSE when you go to the page for information about the Cosmic desktop you can of course download it and try the alpha on the pop os 2404 but i feel adventurous and i will try it on the open susa there is some instructions here which looks pretty straightforward well open build service has already packaged for cosmic that's what we are going to use so let's see how much trouble or not we will encounter <laughs> okay uh, let's open a terminal for this if we going to use the open build service package for installing the cosmic desktop we will need the OPI what OPI is this is a OBS package installer basically a cute little program that helps you find and install packages and programs from the open build service it's awesome believe me and how can i explain it to a user outside of the open source world this is basically the most close thing to aur for the arch linux system <laughs> Plus, I think this one is so much better and it's so much tested and safer. But hey, that's my opinion. Okay, so how do you install the OPI package? It's pretty simple. With sudo zipper install OPI. Put down your password. And it's right there. You can see what kind of packages and dependencies are needed total of 58 but well this number looks big <laughs> but not really you will see that it's relatively fast and small install so let's continue with why as you can see goes pretty quickly And while we wait for this, I will show you this desktop right here. It's a fresh install on virtual machine. Yes, virtual machine this time because this cosmic desktop it's on alpha state. It's testing. That's why I have decided to do this on a virtual machine first. Plus I have never done that on OpenSUSE before. This will be my test. Hopefully it will be fast and easy again and you can see what you can and what you cannot do on Cosmic on OpenSUSE. I hear a very good feedback from other people using it, especially after the Alpha 1, Alpha 2. It's so much better now with so much more functionalities added to the desktop. Plus if you have followed my channel for a while you know i have tried this cosmic desktop again on the fedora before 
it was even before the alpha release so it was usable yes but it was missing so much functionalities again let's call it that <laughs> and there was some bugs so this time i have decided to go and do install it on a virtual machine first if everything goes well i might move it to my real metal so let's see okay and as you can see opi it's already installed how do you use it basically most of you guys if you are using OpenSUSE, you might already know all this but just in case if some new users are out there and watching this that's why i'm doing it so again how do you use opi just put opi and the name of the package you are looking for example we are looking for cosmic right now it says searching for repos and this is all the answers we get from the obs now we look for the correct package to install let's see Yeah, this looks like the one that we are needing, maybe. Patterns-cosmic-basic. I'm curious if this is the correct one, but certainly looks like. Now, when you have chosen which package you need or which one you are going to need, it's pretty simple. Now, we need this number in front of it which in our case it's 43 just put 43 and press enter now you have to select a repository from which you are you are going to use for installing this package for my I'm not sure which one it is, but let's go with the factory. <laughs> one is fine with me. Import package scene in keys, of course, yes. And now we wait for the install to finish. These are the packages that will be installed to our system. Everything looks pretty okay. 60 new packages are going to be installed that's fine and download package size it's 176 77 megabytes okay that's fine let's do it Okay, now it's going to ask you if you want to keep the repo. I think this is a good idea for updates. Let's say so. Yes, of course. And we are already done. This is it. That's all we needed to do. Now it's the moment of truth. Let's reboot our system and see what is going to happen. Okay. All right. And of course, I have turned on the automatic boot in the desktop, so I need to log out manually now. That's fine. <laughs> okay, and this is where you get to the login screen. Here, down here, you should have the desktop session. Just click here, and yes, we do have a cosmic session available to us. Let's select that and log in. Okay, I guess 
I have tried to update my system after the adding the repo for Cosmic Desktop. I have to try and research what's wrong and what's happening. And I still have not been able to fix it. Now I feel a little adventurous <laughs> and I will try to install it anyway on my real hardware system. The only difference here is I am running and testing the slow roll. So let's go ahead and do that and see how much we can <laughs> how much we can do here. Hopefully we are not borking our system. If it is, it is. Let's go ahead and do exactly the same steps that I have already showed you on a virtual machine. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> we got an error for cosmic settings. Well, let's go ahead with installation anyway and see what's going to happen now. All right, and the installation is finally done. No more errors are shown. <laughs> Maybe this is a good sign. So let's try and update the system just in case to see if there is some new updates after the installing the packages for Cosmic. Okay, I guess no more updates. Now the only thing that left to do is log out and see if the Cosmic session starts on the real hardware now. <laughs> this should be interesting. So I will see you in a bit guys. Well, maybe. <laughs> oh hey, good news guys. As you can see, I am able to run the Cosmic session now. It's awesome. So I guess we are successful with this. I don't know what was the problem in the virtual machine, but the most important thing is that on real hardware, this package, this new pattern Cosmic works and we are able to install and run the Cosmic desktop. I would like to show you the info if i remember where to find it of course it's been a while since i used this desktop let's try with fast fetch it's not installed let's just install it then I'm curious to see if the NVIDIA driver is running correctly. Okay, that's a good news. I'm pretty sure we are running the Wayland only session for Cosmic. Let's see what fast page will show. And as you can see, we are still on open SUSE Tumbleweed dash slow row. <laughs> and we are currently running the Cosmic Desktop. Of course, on a Wayland session. That's awesome. How about do the software center? Oh. Let me see the Cosmic App Store. I'm curious about that one. What are people... What? Okay. 
I was beginning to worry about nothing show up, but I guess it needed a little time for the database to refresh, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> this is a new pop or how they call it again? Anyway, I guess it's working. Maybe. Oh man, this should be fun. <laughs> I know it might not be optimal for some of you guys, but I guess I really wanted to install and try this desktop on OpenSUSE. So if you are wondering how you can do, this is how you do it. So I will stop the video here because I, well, I guess it's getting pretty long now <laughs> and I really hope this to be a really short video, short and easy, <laughs> but I guess never easy. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. I will have my fun with this for a while. And if there is any questions popping up, for you, just leave them down in the comment section and I will see what I can do about them. I wish you a great week and great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!